The Houston Texans are at home for week four, still searching for win number one. They host the bruised and battered L.A. Chargers, who will still probably feel that way for this game. Herbert drops the throw, it's another blitz. He's going to get hit. He's going to set the balls out. Let's see who jumps on top of it. The Jaguars do. Justin Herbert is a warrior. He's just going to go forward with those hurt ribs. Didn't sparkle with them last week, though. 6.6 yards per attempt, only one touchdown, an INT, his rating 74. Herbert throws it out to the left side. That ball is picked off. It is tipped and then picked off by the Jaguars. Jags have it at the five-yard line of the Chargers. He needs Keenan Allen out there bad. He was out last week again. He was close to a return, though. Without him, Herbert turned to Josh Palmer a lot and Austin Eckler out of the backfield. Eckler was going to walk to the front and across the 30 and about to the 35 and a first down for the Chargers. Herbert on the crosser, wide open, Josh Palmer left sideline. That's the explosive play you needed to get this thing moving. What about Mike Williams, you ask? I mean, he scored a TD. Look at left, throwing left for Mike to the end zone, touchdown, Chargers. That's perfect coverage, but it's a perfect throw. <laughs> but that was it against Jacksonville. Six targets, one catch. He really needs Allen back, too. Takes a shot down the right sideline, looking for Mike Williams. Well out of bounds, though. Chargers lost their starting tackle last week. Texans might be able to take advantage. Jerry Hughes picked up two sacks in week three. Texans racked up five total to go along with nine QB hits. Shotgun snap to field. Pressure coming, and down he goes. They were storming off the edge. Collins, Hughes, all there, meeting at the quarterback. Hardly had time to set up. Houston's secondary fed off all that, dominated Justin Fields. Only 106 yards allowed, no TDs, rating allowed of 27.2. Play action, Petrie coming in, and he's got his sack. What a day. Jalen Petrie. Rookie safety Jalen Petrie picking up his first two INTs. Fields fires over the middle and it's intercepted. Fields deep over the middle looking for Mooney. Intercepted by Petrie. On defense, LA has three guys to really focus on. Davis Mills and Brandon Cooks in the passing game. Mills can struggle when he can't connect with Cooks on a regular basis. Cooks last week, seven targets, just two receptions, 22 yards. Play fake to Pierce. Mills the throw. Great. Can't get it. Brandon Cooks over the middle, popped by Eddie Jackson at the 10. Probably knew that hit was coming. Mills in turn, two INTs, 70.4 rating. No shock, one of his picks was on a throw to Cooks. Mills pumping, firing to the end zone, tipped and intercepted. Should have never gone there with a the football. Mills. I think it was intended for Cooks. The coverage was so tight and he stared it down, which yep. made it even easier for coverage to be there. And he was going there no matter what. Third piece to the Texans' O face, running back Damian Pierce. Got 20 carries last week, respectable 80 yards. Feeds Pierce, running right. He's got some room. Spin move, 35, 30 to the outside, 25, 20. And a score to that, a bounds. Eddie Jackson couldn't bring him down. Brister couldn't bring him down. Chargers run defense he takes on. Held Travis Etienne in check, but not James Robinson. Gave up 100 yards to him on 5.9 a trot. They give us to James Robinson. He's got it in more. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown on fourth down. James Robinson broke loose for the score. As for the passing attack, Chargers gave up a 115.5 rating, three TDs to Trevor Lawrence. So that wasn't great. Rolling right is Trevor firing toward the end zone. That ball is going to be caught for the touchdown. Jacksonville has scored again. But you can bet Cooks is going to get plenty of Asante Samuel. He locked it down against Lawrence. Lawrence with time throwing at the goal line and it's broken up. Asante Samuel broke up the pass intended for Christian Kirk. Terrific defense down deep. If Mills wants to know where a weak link might lurk, Michael Davis's receivers were targeted 10 times. He allowed eight receptions, 64 yards, and a TD. Dropping his Trevor, looking. Fires corner of the end zone. That ball is caught for the touchdown in the back of the end zone. How in the world did Marvin Jones Jr. come down with that thing with Michael Davis draped all over him? 
Will Mills have time? Joey Bosa left last week hurt, and it appears serious. Him and Khalil Mack have been MIA in their last two anyway. This isn't how this story was supposed to be playing out. Well, that happens because of the protection. Trevor has to hang in there, and he does an outstanding job of not panicking. These are desperate times for an L.A. squad that came into this year with big-time expectations. Houston would like to get the donut out of their win column. Throw your keys to the game into the comments section with your prediction. We'll throw some of those up on the screen. Are we not going to talk about Herbert's Dr. Squatch commercials, by the way? Did Gene Belcher give permission for Beef Squatch to get used in that logo? 